Welcome back to another C++ video. And today we're going to be calculating the amount of calories someone burns based on their age, weight, heart rate, and then time. We're going to ask the user for user input and we're going to store that into variables named age, weight, and heart rate, and then time. And then we're going to calculate the calories burned and then we're going to print it out. So the first thing we need, we need some actual variables. We can say int age, which corresponds to the age in the actual like, equation. We can say int weight, int uh, heart rate, and then int time. Okay, then we could say cn to actually get the user input, and then age, and then cn weight, and then cn heart rate, and then cn one more time, or actual time. Okay, so now we have user, we have actual variables, and then we have actual user input. So whatever we, like, we're going to ask the user to enter something for age, and it's going to be stored in the age variable, weight variable, heart rate, and then time. You know, we can plug these variables in into this equation. So let's actually do that. So we need to have a name for our equation, a variable, and we can say calories, but we didn't have, like, a data type. So I'll make it a double. Let's say double calories equals, and then we'll just plug everything in for this equation. And I'm making it a double because I don't want it to be an integer because, like, an integer is, like, a whole number. And we're going to be like dividing numbers, so we actually want like numbers after the decimal point. So that's why I'm making it like an actual integer. Then we can plug in our variables. We can say age times this number right here. And we're going to add that to weight. And then we're going to multiply it by this number. We're going to add that to heart rate. And they're going to multiply it by this one number right here. I'm going to subtract it from 75. And everything I'm doing, I'm just literally following like the actual like equation. I'm not doing anything new. Multiply that by time and divide it by this 8 number. Okay, so this is our calories variable. It holds how many calories we like we burned based on user input. Okay, so we have that now. So now we're pretty much done. We just have to print it out. So we can do C out, and then we can have, let's say, calories burned. And then we can type in our variable name, which would just be calories in this case, and end it with the new line. And if we were to run this, it would work, but let's actually do it. So it's first it's asking me for my age, 23, my weight, I'm 210, my heart rate will just go 100, because I don't know what a good heart rate is. In the time I worked out in minutes, which would be 60. And then I burned 326.755. So it works. I just want to make it look a little better. We want to format it. So let's see. We could say cal, uh, we say C out. We're going to say fixed. Then I'll tell you what this means right now. So when you say fixed, because we're going to use something called set precision, because we want to like format it after the decimal point, we only want two numbers. So fix, it kind of like just refers to like the decimal point. We only want two digits after the decimal point. And then we can say set precision. And then set precision is part of like a, like a library. It's going to tell like the, the computer how many numbers we want after the decimal point. Because af because after fix, normally set precision would say we only want two numbers in the actual variable. But fix tells that we only want two numbers after the decimal point. So we're going to say set precision. And now we can start printing everything out. We could say, how do you spell calories? Oh my god, I can't spell to save my life. Calories burn. And then now we can put our calories variable right there and then end it with the new line. And now if we run this, we could say my age is 23, my weight is 210, my heart rate is 100, and the time I worked out for 60 minutes. Now it's going to be formatted with only two digits after the decimal point. All because set precision. But when you use set precision, you have to use this include statement. You have to say include IO uh, manip. So it's um include output manipulation. No, it's input output manipulation. That's what it stands for. If we were to get rid of this, we would get an error here. So if you're using it, be sure to input it. Be sure to include it. Okay. So our program is pretty much done. I just want to make it look a little better. Because like when I put in all my input, I don't know what I'm like actually inputting. So let's actually ask the user, actually let's actually like tell the user what they're going to be inputting. 
We can say enter your age. End it with the new line. Okay. Now they know we're asking for an age, for a weight, and for a heart rate. And then enter the amount of time you worked out. Enter time you worked out. And now if we were to run this program one more time. Oh, actually, like, enter us. And it'll prompt us to, to what to enter. We need to enter your age, 23. Enter your weight, 210. Your heart rate, 100. And the time you worked out. I did 120 minutes. I did two hours. And then it'll say the calories burn, and then it'll format it. And that's it. Let me see if I can zoom it out so you can see the whole thing. And if this helped you at all, just leave a like and subscribe.